Bitcoin and Ethereum, what's the next move? Let's find out in the charts here, shall we? Wow, it's been an incredible ride. We saw Bitcoin dump down, right? Everybody was scared, fearful. We thought it was going to break down, almost did, and then instead it, it went straight up. And we're gonna talk about that and more in today's episode. Thank you for watching my videos today. It's great to be back. Um, been a little spotty on the videos. I'm gonna be uh, heading over to the Grand Prix for the next little while, um, but I will try to get out some more videos over that over the weekend uh, of the Grand Prix in Abu Dhabi um, and yeah if you watch my Instagram you'll see so, some cool pictures and cool uh, events that I will be taking place in in the uh, Grand Prix and uh, yeah I'm gonna be meeting some um, um, cool people there so make sure that you're subscribed to my Instagram also I'm gonna be talking about Ethereum or how to trade this and how to, how to trade the altcoins as well so make sure if you want to trade all of that you can you head over to uh, bybit.davinciej15.com or femex.davinciej15 where you can get massive bonuses for a small amount of money to deposit and you can actually uh, use the, the bonuses to trade instead of your own money so it's an awesome win-win for you so make sure you head over and do that and just deposit a small amount okay well yesterday right i was looking for i was just as bearish as everybody else i could tell you that much and uh, I, but I did say, hey, if we broke up, we, there's a possibility that we could break above the 13 MA. And if we do on the four hour, we're probably not gonna stay there for very long and then break back down. Um, and because you know what, honestly, Bitcoin does not like the bottoms. It hates them. Now, keep in mind, that's, that's the, the average, meaning that not all the time does Bitcoin actually um, uh, uh, you know, come back and retest the V bottom because there is a times that it uh, does not test the V bottom. So such such as when it dropped back down in the March of uh, 2020 during the coronavirus, that was a V bottom that never got retested. And so um, you can say that that's not 100% uh, true, but it is most of the time. So you have to go with what works most of the time, not all the time, because this could be. The point in time where Bitcoin continues to take off nonstop, um, but you know what are the odds of that? It's low, so you have to go with the odds here. You can't bet against the odds um, because then you know that's how you lose your money, right? Um, you just make sure that uh, you know that if you're betting, even if it's ninety percent accurate, um, you have to always make sure that you are not going to be putting yourself in a position where you uh, lose all your money based on the fact that, hey, you know what, this happens 90% of the time, so I'm gonna go with that bet, and then, you know, you get wiped out. So don't do that, don't remember. Play from a position of strength and do not get wrecked, okay? So, with that said, you can see that uh, Bitcoin is starting to roll over on the four hour. Um, we need to zoom down to the lower time frames to really see how this is playing out um, on, the, on the four hour. You can see that, yes, we've won gone sideways and up, and yeah, it's trying to come back down on uh, to the 13 MA on the, the hourly. Now, I would be concerned if you jump, just jumped in a short here. This is not a, a, a position to be in a short at this point in time. We have to look for some sort of, um, you know, st market structure. What's what is market structure? Basically, the way the price organizes itself so that it indicates that hey, we are going to go down. Now. If we go down to the lower time frames, I'm sure we'll find some market structure maybe for the five minute um, to, that started this whole dump. So let me just uh, make, uh, let me just get this thing um, a little bit to auto fit. There we go. Yeah, you can see the market structure is right there. What do you see? Well, we saw a nice um, M pattern right here on the five minute. This is market structure. This is what I've been teaching you guys all over again. Right, you're looking for that on the higher time frame so that you can actually put in a trade and actually, um, you know, get a, a percentage chance of actually winning. You can see that once it broke this market structure right here, you know, it was down. She went, and so you could have profited um, from that uh, this current dip. Now that's that's how you do it on the lower time frames, of course, but it also works on the higher time frames. It's just you have to wait a little bit longer. So as we wait for that on the hourly or the four hour, right? You, you, go, you don't go into a trade here just because you saw it go down. There's a chance, there's a very distinct possibility, most likely high possibility that Bitcoin continue the bounces here 
or continues down for a little bit and then comes back up, wipes out the, um, the, the, um, the bears, right? Comes back down and then does another du, du, M pattern and then goes straight down. So uh, be prepared for that, uh, that kind of action. Okay, let me just draw, um, let me just bring that over here so we can see that. There you go. And then, so, so what we need to do, right, is uh, make sure that we want to do for, on a higher time frame, look for that market structure, look for some sort of pattern here. This is not, you can see this was not a bullish pattern, else going straight up and sideways, and we broke down, we're not going to um, do something, you can't, you had to like hunt this, of course, on the lower time frames as it was coming up here to really determine when the short was going to come in if you were looking for a short. All right, um, let's head over to uh, Ethereum shortly. Um, I'm looking to see if there's any other thing that we can like talk about, any other patterns that, no, there's nothing really that we can uh, talk about um, right now. But if I'm going to go for a long on Bitcoin, a very long, long, and I will do it, I'm going to do, uh, you know, what's, what's called you know, one of those crazy longs that Chris always does um, because it, uh, you know, it's cool to watch, right? Um, I'm gonna just go um, balls deep here at the 44 again. Yes, look at that. I, I was at the 44 last time. And um, look at that, it's funny how the 44 is the 78.6, right? And I'm gonna go balls deep with this thing and I'm gonna hold that trade like an epic trade all the way up. Right, I'm gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna go ten five percent. I'm not gonna go on uh, ten percent, ten x leverage. I'm gonna go five x leverage and hold that to liquidation. So yeah, if you want to watch that, uh, look out for that. I'm gonna be doing that in the next video. I'm gonna put that trade in uh, for you. So uh, check that out. It's gonna be awesome. I'm well definitely put that in that trade in and and yeah, it's just going to be actually uh, an open order. So you're gonna see me leave that open order for you as well. Okay. Um, I already have a trade, of course, here um, at um, 44, at the 44. It's already doing well. It's up like, um, you know, $78,000 um, in profit. And uh, yeah, I'm looking to, um, I was gonna close it out sooner, but I, I, I didn't get a chance to. I just forgot about it. And uh, yeah, and now I got lucky and I kept, uh, I, I got a little bit more profit, but I'm not gonna get greedy. I'm gonna look for the, the turnaround here and, uh, look for it to, to just come up a little bit more higher, probably up to this, to this next uh, resistance level at the 52,000 and then probably pull the trigger um, uh, on a, a sell order um, up there. Now, I could be completely wrong, right? Of course, the, the odds are low, of course, that this Bitcoin's gonna continue higher. Okay, now, um, I'm doing this live, right, with, with an audience, and uh, if you want to be a part of that audience, you can do so by heading over to davinciJ15.com, where you can see the trades that I'm doing, trades that um, that Lee's doing. He's doing a great job there too, and yeah, and uh, also make some money. All right. Um, also, um, remember to head over to my referrals links, referrals page, right, and check out all the referrals that I have to offer there. Um, and if you own some DJ15 tokens, of course, I've been burning a whole bunch of tokens. I just recently burned a bunch of tokens. Uh, if you're in that group, you'll see how much tokens I'm burning and uh, when I'm burning them. So yeah, it's awesome. Make sure you be a part of that. Okay. Um, let's talk about the next thing, which is Ethereum. Man, I remember I did tell you guys that I was, I was looking at a short and I, yes, I got stopped out, but hey, you know what? the likelihood right here we were doing an m right the likelihood that it was uh it was like gonna just come up a little bit to the 61.8 78.6 and then roll over again was high so i was willing to to take the chance and uh you know get stopped out at uh at the 40 to 50 4, 4, 250 dollar mark and i did and that's okay i'm fine with that um you know i followed my trading plan and it executed exactly as planned um yeah it didn't it didn't result with a win but hey as long as you follow your pen a lot of people just go take in a trade and then they hold it and go is it gonna come back down they hold the short is it gonna come back down they look for us uh, um us, us opinion leaders to to give them uh some some hope and prayer 
that you know they 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 their short will be clear covered, um, and yeah, um, uh, if you're in a short and you're really um, you're really underwater, you shouldn't have done that. You you uh, you need to to cut your losses right because you just don't know how high this thing is going to go. Continue this thing could continue all the way up, right into new um, heights because um, Bitcoin the 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 um, the ratio we're going to actually which is I should show you guys that actually now because it's doing very well and it's breaking out actually because that was an interesting chart I want to show you guys actually so this indicates some serious strength as you can see this is a big 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 massive actually ugly maybe that means we're going to see some massive movements here on ethereum a cup and handle right I mean I remember sitting with tone base thinking this was getting ugly but now it's created the cup and handle and it's like you're saying look ethereum, ethereum's dead if we're right down here i mean ethereum's dead right bitcoin's gonna take over and just just wipe this thing up i was confident that was not the case <laughs> and now we're above right my actually take this was supposed to be my take profit zone uh, way back here and i didn't and above my take profit zone um, so what is the, the, um, the rate? What, what, what is the break? What's the level that this thing is going to go to? Well, basically this is this big cup and handle is another type of W basically, right? It just, you know, it's just a little bit higher. And so if we were to, um, let's just draw a straight line here. I'm going to make that a little bit straighter right there. Oops. Now it's like off. Oh. One to be straight. There we go. And then we take this all the way up to the breakout of the cup and handle. Let's let's forget the wicks. Just to be conservative. You can see it's all the way up to 14. 0 0.14. Six. That's that's huge move, right? For um, Ethereum. And that is what's incoming for Ethereum. So yeah, um, it's a possibility that this thing continue continue tight. We're above the the 13 EMA, the, the both the, the 13 EMA and the ribbons, right? Don't, but we might recheck that. So uh, we're a little bit higher than um, we should be on the four hours. So keep that in mind. Not surprised if um, you know Ethereum comes up and, and wicks out any bears before it actually does that. Uh, it normally does, just like Bitcoin does. So looking at the four hour. Well, one hour, sorry, target, right? You can see that there is an M, oh, beautiful M that you could have uh, taken to get this particular downward movement and uh, got profit. All right, let's close this out with um, with the dominance. You can see the dominance is clear. Like, I remember telling you guys, like, this was, this was like the M pattern right here. You can see the structure, and then down she goes. Whoosh, baboosh. But we're not... Um, in the uh, the clear yet for the um, altcoin season, the massive altcoin season that I'm predicting, the actually epic altcoin season actually starts below the 35% mark right there. As you can see, it's right here on the on my shoulder here. What other shoulder right here? <laughs> hey, um, the 35% mark is the the beginning of the epic uh, bull run. Uh, not not even though there's going to be this is going to look epic. It's going to be like, okay, at this point, right? A lot of people will be like, oh, I'm taking profits, but we're not done yet. <laughs> it's going to be huge ride, huge, huge ride. So I'm looking forward to that. Now we did have a little bit of a run and uh, you can see that uh, although we've backed off on some of them, they're still up for the last 30 days priced in Bitcoin. And that's where you want to be. You want to be in Bitcoin. Why? Because well, as I've always said, Bitcoin's real. Bitcoin's here to stay and you need to be a part of it. Cheers.